Hey guys, welcome to this game. This game is called the Quantum Conundrum, and I have previous experience with it. I was just trying to record it a few minutes ago, the game broke, and I couldn't progress, so I had to try again. Well, yeah. There's an epilepsy warning for people. If you have epilepsy, you probably sh might not want to watch this. I don't know. This is an intro. Airtight games. Start the game. New game. Oh, I can't. Continue. Once upon a time. That's how these things usually start, yes? A sister took pity on her brilliant, prolific, and incredible brother. She had somehow gotten it in her head that he might be lonely, or at least that's what she claims. And so, on a perfectly fine, productive Friday afternoon, the sister picked up her son from the Elwood Academy for Boys and dropped the aggravating child off on my, uh, the, the brother's doorstep. Now yeah, you, I mean, me the boy, had visited Quadrangle Manor on a few occasions. Each time was complete with a grand entrance from the brother, who was in fact a professor and inventor well, yeah, with a profound gather. and soaring intellect. You can gather that he's, with each uh, visit, the inventions he exhibited became more slick and cutting edge. Yeah, this guy is kind of mean. And also the boy eagerly awaited the revealing of the professor's latest contrivance, but this, the most captivating of visits, started a bit differently. Apparently I'm age four? I don't know. Well, let's see here. If I configure the transdimensional velocity, velocity regulator at approximately 0 0.887 can pause here. seconds past the... Oh, you're here? I have the most incredible invention to show you this visit. Unfortunately, I'm a bit <laughs> indisposed at the moment. So yeah, if I if you take your luggage into the foyer, I will join you as soon as I can. So a thing is, I kind of just smashed it into this, and it just disappeared randomly. So... Yeah, like it got stuck. But oh, you confounded machine! Thankfully, it didn't Ugh. break this time. What was that? Oh, good. That should be a safety release for the door. I there break somewhere. stuff. Now, where on earth left did I click can right, can, uh, Left click picks up stuff, and right click click throws. Damn, I broke it. Oh yes, I'd forgotten. You're not particularly tall, are you? You should be able to use your luggage. Wait a minute. Something isn't quite right here. Well, actually, I was able to reach this, but for some reason it just wasn't working. I think he wanted me to have my luggage with me. So, yeah. Oh, no, 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 no! So I'm gonna bring it with me. Ah! Something is right there. Oh, what the heck? still seems to work, so I can see you and... Hello? You, you, you can hear me, right? Jump around a bit if you can. Ah! It seems as if I can still tap into the intercom system. Well, I most certainly can do better than this. Testing, 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 testing! There. Ah, much better. Now, what in the world are you doing here? Were you supposed to be here today? No matter. Well, judging from the current underwhelming amount of light in this room, we're still on backup power. My head is killing me. It seems as though I now possess a rather large epidural hematoma. A bump on the head. Do me and yourself a favor and head to the front hall. There's a way to restart the power grid. You know, you don't have to use such fancy words. Last I remember, I was in the new technology sector and then... I don't know. I do think the failsafe was tripped accidentally. Unfortunately, the front door will remain in lockdown until you can restore the power. So yeah, uh, 
Scientists don't you have, you have to use big fancy words. If you head over to my office over on the left, you should be able to restart the manor's power grid. Mm, this doesn't open anyway, like you said. But, uh, yeah. This... Yeah, he's too full of himself to not use... Throw that switch words. there. It should be the one. Okay, time to break absolutely everything. Haha. -ha. Well, that wasn't as effective as I hoped. You'll have to reactivate the generators in each sector in order to lift the current lockdown. Just uh, take the glove in the box with you. I wish you could see my facial expression right now, as I am not pleased. He sounds like some teacher. What you are holding is an early prototype of the interdimensional ship to? device, no. or IDS device for short. It's one to? piece of my latest invention that should come in handy. Get it? You know, because it's a glove. <laughs> if you can access the generator at the back of each wing, we might be able to lift the lockdown on the rest of the house. It seems as if the breaker did unlock the blue wing. Well, I suppose you should start there first. Look, I can go upstairs and probably fall. We Okay, blue wing, I guess. Here I come. A blue wing, here I come. Wherever you are. Find a blueprint tubes. Pretty sure blue wing. Um. Well, I already went this way. Where is it? It's, it's probably in here, to be honest. I just didn't check it out. Yep. There's something I must tell you. My latest invention has required me to make play. a few adjustments to the house since the last time you barged in. Uh, I mean, visited. Apparently I can... Bam. Now, one of the topics that our family has been studying for several generations Paul are wonders. rifts existing between various dimensions. I've been able to develop a power source that will channel enough energy into one of these dimensional rifts that it can be widened enough to travel through. <coughs> yeah, there was this thing that was in the intro. Oh, yay, more punch to break. The glove controls the power source, which allows you to travel to whichever dimension has rifts in the area. You won't have control over the ability to switch dimensions yet. Just be patient. This door is using one of my inventions, the repetitive, periodic, articulating Gruy Day. Or a drinking bird. Except it's far more advanced. No, dude, it's literally just press a button, pressing a button. 
I'm going. Oh. Because your glove is an early prototype, it has a few limitations in terms of dimension accessibility and the distance it can be from a receptacle in order to function. Shifting this is such an early experiment with dimensional shifting, so I decided to have it triggered remotely with the drinking bird. Instead of operating a door, the bird will trigger a dimensional shift. There's an IDS battery in the machine that will power the dimensions, which in this case is Fluffy Dimension. In addition to Fluffy being embarrassingly adorable, it's also rather useful because everything is 10 times lighter than normal. Though that looks like a regular scale, it is in fact a portable kinetic mass to electricity converter. Or a bigger button. There's that lovely bird again. Sometimes I call him Desmond. Something to note. Since you're holding a version of the IDS device, you, in fact, are not the you in an alternate dimension. Let me try that again. You remain constant. So no matter the dimension, your mass, shape, speed, and trying personality remains the same. should throw that IDS battery into the receptacle mounted on the wall. Uh, that receptacle will distribute the power source around the room, allowing you to now use your IDS device to switch dimensions at your leisure. As I mentioned, dimensional rifts in the manor are magnified by the stabilizing energy from the IDS receptacle and batteries. This is what enables you to slip between dimensions when you're wearing the IDS glove. I'm not actually listening. Sorry, dude. Ah, that's Dolly. Dynamic Object Linear Ligation Interface. To you, a cloning device. I like my house just so. So I decided to add functionality to her to keep everything consistent. Ow. Oh, I'll need to tune that later. Oh, yeah, I can break every pane of glass in this place. So... That's not enough. Well, how about... actually break <coughs> oh oh you're right there bam now I can pick up the safe and destroy Gravity, except it's not really less gravity. These are my own particular hybrid beams of carbon dioxide and neodymium dope yttrium aluminum garnet lasers using an alternating ray configuration. 
give some extra kick. These are my own particular hybrid beams of carbon dioxide and neodymium doped yttrium aluminum garnet lasers using an alternating ray configuration. Give them an extra kick. This is actually easy. I just wanted to see what would happen if I died. So that happened. That's Ike, according to the achievements. Am I supposed to be able to fix that? Oh. Bam! I don't need to get over there. Unfortunately, the breaking of this glass is a necessary evil. Don't take that as permission to do it elsewhere. Oh, I totally am. Just letting you know that you reset the glass. Thank you. Uh, oh, I need to turn on this dimension when I press it. Ha, uh, I know what I'm going to do. I broke it again. Oops. Break it again, but well, because apparently that destroys the thing in it, so that's not good. Oops, I should have Yep, I broke it again. It has to break anyway. So why was it really doing anything? Bam, I broke that. I'm not heavy enough. This shard of glass is totally heavy enough. It's just buttons that require really heavy stuff to do it. Oh, that uh, creature there is an interdimensional kinetic entity, or Ike. Shattered. I'm so I'm fine. Stop for a minute and take a look at the painting. The machine I referred to as Dolly started out as a simple metal forge that had been in the family since medieval times. The original quadrangle suit of armor was actually constructed in this very forge. 
My great-grandfather modified the old forge so that if it had enough raw resources, it could craft steel objects autonomously. This predecessor to Dolly supplied all the materials needed to build the Underground Railroad. Then it turned into this thing. Sometimes laziness should be indulged. What? I hit you. I totally hit him. location a whole lot, but it seems as if I'm in some sort of limbo. I think I may explore a bit and see what turns up. Oh, don't leave me alone. <laughs> yep, I'm alone. Time to break all the glass there is. Why? Well, at least avoid impaling yourself horribly. Bad enough, the glass needs to be lighted up. Oh, 
could I have no there's no doors here I'm serious there's no doors here what I've what could else could I have done I'm trying to give myself a concussion. This room often gets rather sweltering in the summertime. Air circulation is very important. Alright, I guess. specifications, you should be able to recreate several objects in the research and development lab adjacent to my office. Fluffy dimensions is now in This is one of the animals that Dolly cloned to rather, well, intriguing results. Uh, uh. Ah, you've moved on to a part of the manor where another type of dimensional rift is accessible. This is the Gravid Wolfram dimension, or Heavy for short. This dimension is in direct opposition to the Fluffy dimension and will make things ten times heavier. Now just imagine how long it took me to lay all that out. Be careful, I'd help you, but I've honestly forgotten which dolly is hooked up to which power converter. No, you wouldn't help me at all. <laughs>
Oh, yeah, I can make that jump. <coughs> I have done it! I have won! I have done it! I have done it! I actually did it! Some I'm dimensions sure are tightly the, bound together, like the one the we're in right now, on and also the fluffy like, and heavy dimensions. In like, once I played this before, when I was like really, really young, even younger than I am now, I played it, and I think that was the one I got stuck on. A weighted decision. Do I need... That red battery will provide enough energy to enable the ITS device to widen the heavy dimension rifts in this area. It appears this dolly got stuck on an infinite loop. How unfortunate. Bam, I did it. Seems to be a large expanse of piles and pits filled with various random objects. No, not where you are. Here, in this confounded place. Are those hard candies? They're a little fuzzy. Ugh. Pleasant. Pleasant. Nice job. No, not really. With the increased density and higher melting points of items in heavy dimension, quadrangle laser beams are rendered rather ineffectual. Oh, that's helpful. Platforming is kind of slippery, so... I came across Ike some time ago, and he decided to follow me back to the manor. Ooh, ha ha, ho ho! Ah, that's where that got to. That is a botched experiment of mine called the Awkward Noise Generator. There's got to be more around here somewhere. <laughs> I can break it, this thing, and I can break other things with it. Oh boy, this is fun. Oh yeah, combo. Yeah, anyway. Oh, I can use this to mix up. Not half bad.
This was once the family cat, Lord Widget Pompadour Fluffington IV, or Widget I. He somehow wound up in one of the Dolly cloning control units. He gets older. Note that if you disrupt the blue beam, it should deactivate something. I'm not entirely sure how many BEDs of radiation that emits. Hope you're not looking to have children later. What? Apparently this unit needs a little bit of work. fascinating. That, combined with the fact that I have no clue how I was transported here, is certainly puzzling. It's mostly dark. Well, maybe not dark. Sort of twilight. Wow. Okay, you. <laughs> So 
Desmond there will come in rather handy. between tall, venti, and grande. Right. I believe I stole Oh crap. 
I shouldn't have said that. Sorry. Please ignore that. I find the number three to be a very satisfying number. It's a heatener number. And the proper amount of scoops on an ice cream cone. Could have done it better myself. Not bad, though. Thanks. <laughs> oh. Uh, are we done yet? Oh, this thing. You may remember some of my past inventions from previous <coughs> trips. This <coughs> is my ice gun, Freezy Ray Vaughn. Yeah, it shoots ice. Not very special, if you ask me. Oh, I really wish I wouldn't do that. This is a compression platform which uses photoelectric energy to function. Like a spring, the energy pulses below the platform excite the molecules in the air, stimulating an elastic structural rigidity. Careful. Oh. Pretty sure you just ended up down there. Like that. Ah, 
take that. Now I see a giant pit filled with keys. Uh, I'm trying to get to the end of this. I feel like it would take forever. episode uh this yeah this episode of quantum conundrum i hope you enjoyed and if you did like and subscribe <laughs> <laughs>